Beak and Ally. Bedtime Jitters. By Norm Feudy. Chapter 1. Ah, there's nothing like being alone with a good book, on a quiet day. Sip. Just me and my book. Hi, Ally. Hello, Beak. What are you reading? It's called Inspiring Alligators Through History. Oh, sounds interesting. Are there any stories about inspiring birds in there? I doubt it. You never know. Birds have done a lot of inspiring things. Like Alexander Burdington, the first secretary of the Worm Treasury. Or Wilbur and Orville Swallow, the first birds to carry a coconut across the Atlantic. Or Feathers Red Bottom McGee, the original badminton birdie. Meg, it's a living. Or Neil Winstrong. The first birds to go to the moon. Three, two, one. Rumble. Rumble. Although that was more of an accident. Beak, do you need something? Because I'd really like to get back to my book. Oh, right. I forgot. You like your alone time. That's right. Sorry. It's okay. I have to remind myself, Ally likes her alone time. Yes. Yes, she does. So? What? Do you need something? Oh, right. I almost forgot why I came here. Almost? Do you have any moss? I'm having trouble sleeping, so I thought it might help if I lined my nest with some nice, soft moss. There's some by that tree over there. Help yourself. I see it. Thanks, Ally? Oh, yes. This is very nice. I think it's stuck. Here, let me do it. Thanks, Ally. I'll carry it back to your nest for you. Oh, you don't have to. I insist. Thanks, Ally. You're a good friend. Yes, well, let's just finish up with the moss. I'm desperate for a good night's sleep. I've been hearing strange noises at night. Weird noises. Yes, the swamp is like that. Scary noises. Well, I'm sure the moss will do the trick. I'm going to back to my book. It will be getting dark soon. Gulp. Chapter 2. This moss is nice and comfy. Maybe it will be all I need to. Yawn. Get a good night's sleep. Snore. Oh my! What was that? There it is again. What is that? What if it's a hideous monster? A hideous robot monster. That flies and breathes fire. And eats birds in a single bite. No, 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 no. Sup, 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 sup. And now it sounds like it's right under my tree. Ape. Splash. Flash. It's after me. Flap, 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 flap. Save me, ally. What the who? What's going on? It's after me. What's after you? The zump monster. The what? It's a hideous creature. The swamp is full of monsters, ally. And each one has its own terrifying call. There's the horrible grunty beast. Grunt, grunt, grunt. grunt. And the chilling chatter ghosts. CHCH. C -H. And now the mechanical zump monster. Zump, zump, zump. zump. There are no such things as monsters, Beak. I hear them every night. The swamp is filled with strange noises. You get used to it. Monsters aren't something I can get used to. There are no monsters. That's just what the monsters want you to think. Beak, it's very late. Why don't I walk you back to your nest? No. I can't go back there. Please, Ally. Let me sleep here tonight. Fine. Oh, thanks you, Ally. I owe you my life. You really don't? Let me grab some more of that moss to sleep on. <coughs> Yawn, I'm exhausted. Snoork. Fee-boo. Boo-boo. Boo-boo. Snoo-work. Fee-boo. 
Boo boo. Boo boo. Finally, a good night's sleep. That makes one of us. Thank you for letting me stay here, ally. But don't worry. I won't need to sleep on top of your head tonight. Good. If I start building a new nest now, I should have it finished by night time. New nest? Where? In your tree, of course. No, 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 absolutely not. But I need to stay here until the monsters move away. There are no monsters, Beak, and I'm going to prove it to you. Tonight, I'll show you what all the swamp noises are. Then you'll know there are no monsters. You'd do that for me? For you. Sure. You are such a good friend, ally. Chapter 3 What if there are no noises in the swamp tonight? Why wouldn't there be? The monsters might be scared off because you're here. There are no monsters, Beak. Zump, zump, zump. Gasp. Zump, zump, zump. Zump, zump, zump. It's coming. Huh? What's coming? The zump monster. Can't you hear it? Zump, zump, zump. Zump, zump, zump. Zump, zump, zump. All I can hear is a bullfrog. Bullfrog. That's what that noise is. Are you sure? Come with me. I'll show you. What if you're wrong? Trust me, you'll be fine. Zump, 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 zump. See. Zump, 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 zump. It is just a frog. I told you there was no zump monster. I'm so relieved. Great, problem solved. I'll drop you off at your nest, and we can both get some sleep. But wait. What about the chatter ghosts and the grunty beast? Oh, brother. Gasp. They're there right now, the chatter ghosts. Those are cicadas. Whatever they're called, they're everywhere. Of course they are, the swamp is filled with bugs. Cicadas are bugs. Come, I'll show you. See. Well, that's ridiculous. No self-respecting bird is afraid of a bug. I agree, it is ridiculous. Can we go home now? You still haven't explained the grunty beast. That's the most horrible sounding creature of all. Fine, let's listen. There it is. Oh, you're going to be really surprised when I show you this one. That's a heron. They make some strange noises. I was scared of a fellow bird. I'm so embarrassed. You let your imagination get the best of you. That's true. I got all worked up over nothing. I suppose that noise is something harmless too. Um. It's probably just a swamp mushroom or something, right? Mushrooms don't make noise. Then what is it? Actually, I don't know what that noise is. But maybe we should find out. Wait, what? You sure about this? Yeah. I hope we don't run into any rangers. Quit worrying and help me with the tailgate. The quicker we dump this garbage, the sooner we can get out of here. Gasp. Those humans are going to dump trash in our swamp. Ally, we have to do something. Humans can be dangerous. Beak, we can't go near them. But they're going to ruin our swamp. I know. I just don't think there's anything we can do about it. What if we made some noises of our own? Like what? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Let's dump this first. Help me lift it. Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Do you hear that? Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. I think it's a siren. Maybe it's just an ambulance. Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. It sounds like it's getting closer. Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Someone's coming. It's the Rangers. Somebody must have told on us. Let's get out of here. It worked. Scary noises for the win. Well done, Beak. You saved the swamp. And I guess we have your bedtime jitters to thank for it. We wouldn't have been out here otherwise. We make a good team. I suppose we do. Come on, let's head home. Should we have another sleepover, just for fun? I think I've had enough fun for one night. The end.